about is, um, I know you have a lot of post-its, but um, maybe just start with a few. And um, let's see, which one do I want to? So um, one thing I thought that was interesting, what I heard from Doug, was um, he said one of his challenges was that politicians aren't really promoting these sustainable development initiatives. He gave Japan as an example of a country that is, but in his experience, um, they weren't. So I'm going to put this, I'll, I'll tell you what it, what it is, and I'll put it up here on the wall. Um, so that's what each of us are going to do. So anyone can come up and start to share uh, what you, the data you collected with the group to inform the group. Just, uh, yeah, so, okay, so what's yours? Because I have one in connection with that one. Oh, great. So, so Jana said that uh, it's June, so politicians wanting to do something about sustainable development had to declare this in public by TV or radio. Uh, okay. So they were actually doing that. They were declaring Oh, uh, they at least had to. So. Okay, oh, they, were, they had to. Okay, good. What else? Other insights? What, what did you learn? Yes. So I have three, and the first one is about program standards and contents that I, they are related and important to assess the quality of studies. Sorry. Another is the efficiency of the policies. Uh, it's very important. And the, the final is the most related with our our. Challenge. Uh, challenge mm -hmm. is the communication and case studies that are important to, to spread, uh, spread the, the concept. That's great. Okay, since I had something uh, similar uh, connected to the um, uh, to declaration or, or the government, they were signals from the government, so there should be clear signals that sustainability is important or so on. And uh, well, case studies and so on, I wrote one practice and concrete example. So first, like, giving the practical opportunity to have practical experience and also giving examples. And the other one is um, creating possibilities and conditions for change. So it becomes easier, creating imperatives. So it's not fighting against something, but it makes it easier to have change. Well, they make uh, seminars in schools to attract uh, new possible students. So, and um, they get new information about the act uh, actual what happens in agricultural uh, fields uh, from conferences. From the South. Um, let me share two points of thought <coughs> compassion. Um, sustainable development has to have a broad connection to wider society. Be maybe a bit more interdisciplinary. I don't know put it in there. Okay, and also for implementing policies, student networks are well quite important. It could be very important. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build on that too. Um, I thought it was so interesting how he said that he was working at, in two areas, really working with the students for kind of the movement and the momentum, and the policymakers for the lobbying. So. Um, that was really interesting. So, I have two kinds of systems. Uh, first, uh, identify uh, politicians involved in these uh, actions. And then, uh, why? We identify politicians <coughs> interested by sustainable development, that's different, and not in but that are interested by. Mm -hmm. Uh, we saw that we have to to observe uh, different targets because we can't work uh, with the same uh, manner. Uh, talking to town councils, for instance, or local government or national government, then we can explain them what are the advantages uh, for them to support SDA teaching, SDA teaching. and uh, for instance, it's a way for them uh, to influence the whole society. And of course, we can explain that the disadvantages not to support the teaching, but there is another way of working, which is how to influence the policy, policy without politicians' uh, education. 
And then, for instance, you can indicate professional organizations to create new, new product, new product. Of course, we have to notify the recipients, that's a marketing term, I don't know if it's a good one in English, mm -hmm. uh, the persons who... Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> And then uh, uh, the traditional uh, French solution, of course, <laughs> making a revolution. Ah, yes. A revolution! Yeah. <laughs> or a strike! Or a strike! <laughs> or a strike. <laughs> French. <laughs> French. <laughs> French. Yes. To get the message across, it's important to show the results, facts and figures, and to highlight how we would like to improve the quality of teaching and what are the needs of the future. Great. Innovative project, change of students. Mm 